Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. In today's video, we're going to be ranking the 15 most evil dark witches and wizards in the Harry Potter universe. Things to bear in mind here are that I'm not ranking them by power, but instead how sinister and evil they are. A lot of dark witches and wizards didn't even make the list, so if you've got a list of your own, I'd love for you to comment it down below. Also, be sure to let me know what you think of my list. We've got a lot to get through, so let's get going. 15. Ethelred the Ever Ready Starting things off in a relatively innocent fashion, at least as far as dark and evil wizards go, we have Ethelred the Ever Ready. Ethelred the Ever Ready was a dark wizard that existed in medieval times, known for getting offended for no reason and taking out his anger by cursing innocent bystanders. Ethelred was a master of jinxes, hexes, and curses, which he loved to use on innocents. For his actions, he was eventually imprisoned. 14. Merwin the Malicious Next up, we have Merwin the Malicious, an evil, pure-blood wizard that existed in the medieval period, sometime between the 5th and 15th centuries. During his lifetime, Merwin was a dedicated practitioner of the dark arts, and would conduct all sorts of twisted, magical experiments using his uniquely hooked wand. He had dark grey, scabby looking skin, which sort of resembled lifeless human skin, and would often sport a long, dark green cloak. He was a scary looking guy, and I have no doubt that the experiments he would conduct had a lasting effect on his physical appearance, as we know how dark magic can affect you in that way. Merwin was single-handedly responsible for creating a lot of the dark spells, jinxes, and hexes that sprang up out of the medieval era, and after his death, made it onto a chocolate frog card. 13. Morgana Le Fay Morgana Le Fay is actually a pseudo-historical figure, and in many versions of folklore, she is the nemesis of the powerful wizard Merlin, though not all of them. Morgana, however, also exists in Harry Potter folklore, where she is portrayed as an extremely evil witch, and again, the nemesis of Merlin, who went to Hogwarts. Morgana is considered by many to be the most powerful witch of all time, and someone that truly hated every aspect of goodness in the world, doing everything she could to fight against it. 12. Godolo Godolo was one of the named and known owners of the Elder Wand before it came into the possession of the likes of Gregorovich, Grindelwald, Dumbledore, etc. If his name sounds doubly familiar to you, it may be because Godolo wrote the famous dark magic textbook Magique Most Evil, a book containing information on dark magic, including a passing reference to Horcruxes in its introduction. Godolo used the Elder Wand to push the boundaries of magic, and considered it to be his teacher, allowing the wand to help him write the book. Leveraging the powerful wand and using it in accordance with his dark mindset, Godolo ultimately created a lot of dark spells and curses. Godolo was eventually killed by his own son, who locked him in the cellar in order to gain ownership of the wand. 11. Grindelwald Grindelwald was a dark, powerful, and dangerous wizard born in the year 1883. After a troubling childhood where he showed an affinity for performing dark magic, he later became a huge threat to the wizarding world. I bet a lot of you are wondering, why isn't he higher on the list? Here's the thing about Grindelwald. His ambitions of establishing a new world order were not primarily driven by notions of evil or darkness, even if it looked that way at times. Grindelwald genuinely felt that what he was doing was important for the world, and that is why his slogan was, for the greater good. He recognized that a lot of his actions were wrong, but ultimately believed that his mission to establish the global wizarding hierarchy was important for wizard kind. He felt that he was just helping his people, even if it did oppress another people. So yes, Grindelwald was dangerous, powerful, and evil, but he certainly wasn't the most evil. 10. Bellatrix Lestrange Bellatrix Lestrange, born Bellatrix Black of the House of Black, was an English pure-blood witch who would have attended Hogwarts around 1962. She was one of, if not Voldemort's most loyal follower, and her reputation for administering hideous forms of magic on unsuspecting wizards and witches in the wizarding world preceded her. Bellatrix was one of the most twisted Death Eaters, and derived considerable pleasure from torturing people, finding the suffering of others to be amusing. 
Her favorite spell was the Cruciatus Curse. 9. Barnabas Deverell Another previous owner of the Elder Wand, Barnabas Deverell was a wizard from the early 18th century who earned quite the reputation as a fearsome warlock. To put things plainly, Deverell certainly didn't use the wand for good, and for many years he leveraged the powerful wand to tyrannize the wizarding world. However, eventually, his reign of terror ended when he was defeated by a rival wizard. 8. Loxius And here we have yet another previous owner of the Elder Wand. Loxius is the man who famously gave the Elder Wand the name the Death Stick, and ruthlessly murdered copious amounts of people while using it. Loxius was a truly evil dark wizard that many wanted dead, and according to Dumbledore, many claimed to have been the one to finish him off, even his own mother. This guy was almost as evil as they come. 7. Emmerich the Evil I mean, this guy's name says it all. His name has evil in it, so I had to have him reasonably high up on the list. The first official known historical owner of the Elder Wand is a wizard who went by the name Emmerich the Evil. Though the wand may have been in the hands of other wizards before Emmerich and after Antioch, Emmerich is the first wizard on record to have possessed it. Emmerich has been described as a short-lived but exceptionally aggressive wizard that terrorized the south of England in the early Middle Ages. 6. Gormlaith Gaunt Gormlaith Gaunt was an Irish, pure-blood, dark witch and the aunt of Isolt Sayer, who founded Ilvermorny School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Gormlaith, who attended Hogwarts herself and was sorted into, you guessed it, Slytherin, strongly believed in pure-blood supremacy and had an intense hatred for anyone that went against these extreme views. Her hatred went so deep that she murdered her own sister and brother-in-law. She also shared something in common with Voldemort. She had an inability to feel love. If you're making a list of evil dark witches, you'd be wrong not to include Gormlaith. 5. Salazar Slytherin Salazar Slytherin, whose name you should probably recognize, was a pure-blood wizard that was born sometime before 976 AD. Famously, or rather infamously, he founded Slytherin House at Hogwarts. Slytherin is also infamous for his disliking of muggle-born students, and was a strong proponent of having only pure-blood students at Hogwarts. This philosophy was ultimately passed on to other Slytherins. His response to muggle-born students attending the school was to build the Chamber of Secrets, which concealed a basilisk that was intended to purge the school of these students. As far as dark wizards come, Salazar Slytherin is certainly up there. 4. Herpo the Fowl Herpo the Fowl was an ancient dark wizard that hailed from Greece. It's entirely unknown when Herpo walked the earth, but we do know that it was a long, long time ago, as he is commonly referred to as one of the earliest known dark wizards. During his existence, Herpo devoted his life to producing and creating some of the worst kinds of magic imaginable producing the first ever basilisk. Some speculate that Herpo is the distant ancestor of Salazar Slytherin, since he too could speak Parseltongue. Herpo was eventually immortalized on a chocolate frog card. 3. Lord Voldemort Voldemort. I bet you didn't expect to see him here, but here's the reality. There were a lot of dark wizards before him, and many of them were horrific. Born without the ability to feel love and dropped off at an orphanage, Voldemort certainly had a rough start. His perspective of the world was bleak, and he was essentially an emotionless psychopath that sought power and eternal life. He wanted pure-blood wizards to rise to the top of the food chain, where they would enslave and kill muggles and non-purebloods, all under his regime. He did a lot of horrible things over the course of his life, including murdering his own family members and creating horcruxes, but he showed no mercy for any of these things, at any point in his life, Voldemort is certainly evil. 2. Rexidian Rexidian was a dark wizard who is said to have existed during an unknown period in time. It's only referred to as ancient. He was a very talented dark wizard who was fully immersed in the dark arts, able to produce all sorts of evil concoctions and cast all sorts of sinister spells. But one thing that he always had trouble with was what we now know to be the Patronus charm. According to Harry Potter lore, Rexidian, who was massively magically talented, was simply not able to produce the Patronus charm properly because he was not pure of heart. Where a normal witch or wizard could expect to be introduced to their spirit animal when casting the spell for the first time, Rexidian was met with maggots. 
Not only that, but they were maggots that devoured him, engulfing his body. This is a testament to just how evil Rexidian was. He wasn't just not pure of heart. Rexidian's heart was black. He was pure evil. 1. Acrisdis Acrisdis isn't particularly well known, but he marked his place in wizarding history as a practitioner of the worst kinds of dark arts imaginable. The types of magic that he performed and experimented with made Voldemort's Horcrux creation look fairly commonplace. Acrisdis was alive during the 15th century, and he's the original inhabitant of the island fortress of Azkaban. While traveling one day, Acrisdis stumbled upon the island, which at the time had no infrastructure to speak of. When he first arrived, it was just a regular island, but he soon turned it into his own little dark arts experiment. After placing concealment charms on the island, Acrisdis began his dark arts experiments by luring muggle sailors to the island, then torturing and eventually murdering them. Before ever stepping foot on the island, Acrisdis was mad, but after spending some time there, he became totally insane as he had completely lost touch with reality. He became so wrapped up and enthralled in his experimentation with dark magic that he had lost his mind, and the poor sailors that he brought to the island witnessed it firsthand. In his madness, it has been speculated that Acrisdis either unwittingly or perhaps intentionally created what we now know to be Dementors, which are the most evil creatures in the wizarding world. The most evil creature from the most evil wizard. Makes sense. And that's it for this video. What do you guys think of my list? Comment your own list down below. Until next time, remember, of the Horcrux, wickedest of magical inventions, we shall not speak nor give direction.